When first looking at the CryEngine 5.2 interface, the differences are somewhat small, but very, very impactful. To begin, we have up top here the search bar, and say I wanted to do something like bring up the console. So if I type in console, I now can find it and click and bring it up. This will give you easy access to anything within the editor right at your fingertips. The next thing is right next to it, and this is called the Notification Center. Now the Notification Center is something that contains a full history of messages, whether it be warnings, asserts, and errors. They'll all be contained within here, and you click it to bring it open. So you'll notice that I loaded the level, and then I have two assertions in this particular stabilization build. You can also go in here and clear, or you can go to history and see a full log past the 25 limit that's set within your preferences. So I'm going to go ahead and click current, and then wipe that out. The next thing that we're going to look at is the gizmos, or are the gizmos. If I switch to one, you'll notice on here, I can drag upward and it'll show me not only the units, but it'll also give me a dotted line or a dashed line to show the direction and distance I've traveled. Next, if we go to rotation, I can begin to spin it around and it'll show me the precise degrees as well as giving me a visual indicator of where the angle is in relation to the other side. Now keep in mind, I can also turn on my degree increments and now I can see a full dash mark for each small increment of five degrees. I'm gonna step back. Next is the scale, and I can simply scale it up or down, and once again we will see the increment right at the base of the origin of the coordinate system. So before wrapping it up, I just wanted to go over one other thing, and that is inside of our tools, we have a couple new things where the FBX importer is at the bottom here, and then we can also go to the advanced and see the notification center that was mentioned at the beginning of this video. Through these small enhancements, we hope you enjoy CryEngine 5.2, and we look forward to seeing the feedback you have regarding the implementations that's shown in the video and how we can improve the process in the later versions to come.